Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the, the iGram ChatGPT plugin to build charts, graphs, and more using this plugin. So before I would show you an actual example on how to use this the iGram or D-A-I-G-R dot A-M plugin. First, let's talk about some of the use cases of this plugin. So my website, roihex.com, I have a full tutorial on how to use this plugin. And in that tutorial, I talk about some of the best use cases of this diagram plugin. As it can read here, you can use this plugin to visualize sales data over time, to identify trends and patterns. You can show the distribution of market share among different companies. You can display the prevalence of different diseases in various regions. You can also use it for educational statistics, financial analysis, social media analytics, climate change studies, population studies, and more. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. But now let's see a real example on how to use this diagram plugin. So before you would be able to use this plugin, you might have to go through a process if you haven't used plugins before. So you have to be a ChatGPT Plus subscriber. You also have to enable plugins in your ChatGPT account. Then you have to click on new chat. If you don't know how to do any of these steps, I have other tutorials on my YouTube channel that you can check out. So once you have clicked on new chat, you have to select GPT-4 from the model selector here, then select plugins from this dropdown. Then you have to install the diagram plugin and you can do that by scrolling down here and then selecting plugin store and install the diagram plugin. And once the plugin is installed, last but not least, you also have to enable the plugin and you can enable any plugin by clicking the checkbox next to the name of the plugin. All right now let's see an example. So of course you can use other plugins to scrape data from websites or you can also use other plugins to get stock prices or crypto prices. But now we're gonna see just a really simple example. So I have opened up the website where you can see the Facebook annual revenue from 2010 to 2022. And all I did is copy pasted this uh, table here and I wanna create a chart from this. So all we have to do is basically add the copy pasted data and we can use a really simple prompt in this example. So all I had to add is visualize this data set for me and copy pasted the table from that article. Of course, you can be more fancy with your prompts. So you can add what kind of charts or graphs you want to have, what the X label should say, what the Y labels should say and stuff like that. But now let's just see this quick example. Click on generate here. So as you can see, you don't have to use, use any kind of fancy functions. ChatGPT is clever enough to know that if you want to use this plugin, then it will activate this plugin and it knows that if you want to create charts and graphs, it has to use this plugin. So if you click on this drop down arrow here, you can see that using this natural language or this raw data, it will structure the data. So as you can see, the labels will be the year and the data will be on the other axis. And using these data, it will create us uh, charts inside ChatGPT. So as you can see, it has created a beautiful, simple line chart with revenue and gear. If you scroll down, you can also access this interactive version of the chart here. Of course, you can save this chart if you want to do that. But if you click on the uh, link here, we're going to be able to see an interactive chart here. You can also put this on a dark background if you want to do that. And basically, that's about it. So all in all, this is how you can use the, the iGram ChatGPT plugin to visualize data in your ChatGPT account. If you want to learn more about other use cases of this ChatGPT plugin or learn more about other ChatGPT plugins, I have a ton of tutorials on my YouTube channel on ChatGPT plugins. And there are a lot more ChatGPT plugin tutorials coming up on the channel, so make sure to subscribe. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions, and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.